Good morning, everybody. Chuck here with no time to be sad. I'm about 80% this morning. We are headed to Bangkok. Gift is coming with us. We're taking her to her hometown. She has a doctor's appointment in the morning, so we just said, well, we're going that way. We'll just go spend the night out there and then take a couple of days extra to get home because I still have a little bit of a cough and the ladies have a little bit of a cough now. So we're going to go get those, them some medicine. And I mean, that's just, it is, it is what it is. I mean, we're traveling tight together and uh, I feel really bad that I got them sick, but I don't know who got me sick or how I got sick, but it just, it just happened. So, but I don't, I'm going to try everything I can not to get mafia sick because she has asthma. So we don't need to bring that home. So we'll just have to stay <laughs> life of a gypsy, huh? It's a rough life. Anyway, they're uh, coming along good with the house. They're going to build that slab. It ought to look uh, finished uh, next time we come back here. But um, I, I told them I don't want a porch. We want the driveway to come all the way out because they wanted to kind of block it in and put uh, benches around there. I said, no, we'd actually like to park underneath there if, it's, if that's possible. But of course she said, no problem, anything. Anything you want, we'll get it done. So it's like, okay, super easy. I'm really, uh, I'm really happy with this deal. Joe actually talked me into this. Like he, he knew they were building this and he wanted to make sure that he didn't get some crazy neighbors. So my first reaction to it was no, uh, it's too early and uh, you know, I don't think so. But then after thinking about it after a while, I was like, man, it's super cheap. Might be worth it just to get just in case and we'll have a place to stay when we come visit. But uh, after my mom come out here, she really, really likes it. And uh, I'm super excited because she, has, she hasn't been so enthusiastic about any of the places we've traveled to except here. So, and I know she wants her own little space and I'm not gonna dump her off. We're gonna have to spend quite a, quite a bit of time still. We've got another couple months before this project's done. And then we'll probably come back here for a month or so to get her settled in. And then we're always, you know, we're usually in this area three or four times a year. And it ain't like I can't put her on a plane and bring her to Nikon Phnom. So everything is super easy in Thailand. I thank you for all the suggestions. Some of them are, are a little complicating uh, the way you guys make it sound, but it's not, it's really easy in Thailand. And she's gonna be surrounded by Joe, Mike and Nicole, Vince and Gail, Rich and Kay will be moving soon, and then they've got Klaus and Thun, and a few other people in the neighborhood that my mom has met. So she's gonna be surrounded by a lot of familiarities. So it'll be good for her, and uh, good for me to have her on this side of the planet. So we're gonna eat breakfast this morning, and uh, another journey. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. How's everybody feeling? Good. I'm feeling good. very good. <laughs> Paige. Mm. She's not talking to me. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> no, you feeling okay, okay, babe? Yeah. A little sore? Mm -hmm. We're going to go ahead and get her some antibiotics because I don't have enough here. Okay, okay rice soup. Well, that looks really good this morning. Hey y'all, Chuck here with No Time To Be Sad, and this is my beautiful wife of 15 years, Paige. We downsized, saved, and liquidated to quit our lifestyle in America of living for things to a life of wherever it might take us. We moved to Thailand in November of 2016. We currently live Thai style on the Mekong River in a town called Tat Phnom, in the province of Nakhon Phnom. This is my wonderful Thai family. Every day for us is an adventure, and we spend most of our time exploring and living for the moment. We know nothing lasts forever, and we try to enjoy every new day we have. I don't have time for things that really don't matter in my life, so there you have it. No time to be sad. Good morning, Klaus. Good morning.
morning. But we'll be back here probably four or five weeks. Yep. Maybe a, maybe a week before this thing is done and start fixing her up. Yeah. They're working on it pretty hard. Yeah, it looks very nice too. I appreciate all the help for my mom, I really do. Nothing, it was nothing. She, she didn't need too much. We yeah. only took her out a couple of times. And, and she, I asked, she didn't need nothing. Yeah. She's okay. She always says that, I'm fine, I'm fine. And then when she sees me, she says, oh, I didn't need, I did. <laughs> I'm like, okay, no. <laughs> I left you, I left you some snacks, a bar, uh, a jar of peanut butter. <laughs> Nah, she'll be fine. She'll be fine. I get her a little bit of transportation. I, you know, you guys go to Macro like every other day. You know, I said, if you guys need a ride, if she needs a ride to Macro, it's no problem. Just jump in the back of Klaus's truck. Yeah. Oh, I have still the small. I'll just hold on to it. Uh, won't need it. I put it away. Yeah. All right, we'll see you in a few weeks. Yes, yes. One last look at the beautiful view. I bought another bike, another mountain bike. It's actually sitting at home right now. I'm gonna convert it into another e-bike. Actually, I'm not getting another e-bike. I'm just taking the stuff off of my old e-bike and putting it on this bike. And then I'm gonna bring that bike here when we come back. I bought a, a uh, a bike rack for the truck last time so I'll just mount it on that and bring it so I have something to do while I'm here instead of eating definitely uh, got some time to get get in shape another different shape Daz is coming he'll be here in the middle of October maybe he can uh, join us for Thanksgiving. Oh, exciting stuff. Alright man, we'll see you. Uh, Alright. Good seeing you again. Safe I'm not, travels back. I'm not, I'm not kissing you like you. No, well, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> Safe travels back. Looking forward to seeing you guys again when you come here. Three more weeks and we'll be slim and trim. There you go, both of us. Yep. Yeah. We got a <laughs> we got a small challenge. It's yeah. not a weight loss one. Bye bye. Bye bye, baby Joe. Yeah. <laughs> well, don't do well, so I don't have to climb up in there and mess my. Mom, life. you gonna miss your secondary home here? I don't want to say hell no, but no. This is a luxury hotel. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't recommend anybody. Why? Because so many dogs bark all night long and they don't give a crap. And, or the baby screams or people. It's kind of noisy, huh? It's extremely noisy. I think you're going to really appreciate the uh, location of your room in the new house. <laughs> it's going to be very quiet. Oh, well, I lived through it. I battled it. I tried to get, there's a new one down the road. I tried to get her to stay there, but I don't think you quite understood. No, I understand now, I learned my lesson. Yeah. Oh, I need that to put in here so I can give this to you. I'm sorry, this thing here needs to go with me wherever I'm sitting, that little. <laughs> okay, somehow we've got more stuff. Your mom wasn't shopping when you were gone, was she? <laughs> I just have all my necessities. Thank you, Klaus. I appreciate your time. That was nothing. Thank you. I appreciate it.
falling all around It's time I was on my way Thanks to you I'm much obliged For such a pleasant day But now it's time for me to go The autumn locks my way but now I smell the rain and with the pain And it's right in my way I, Sometimes I grow so tired Everybody happy? Happy, happy. Hopefully we're cured in about three days so we can go home. I hate to see you spend the uh, week in the bedroom upstairs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really. Caution tape over the door. <laughs> yeah. Mafia don't go upstairs anyway. Right. It is a beautiful day though. Hopefully we feel better to go to the mall. I'd like to get you, uh, maybe get your hair cut, huh? You like it. I have Ikea. Huh? You don't want to see the Ikea. Go to Ikea, maybe get your hair cut at the mall. I don't know, something. The Miata. We are here at the, I think it's the Westgate Hotel or something like that. I don't know, I'll tell you in a minute. Yeah, Westgate Residence. Sorry I didn't show you much of the road trip, but every time I talk, <coughs> I have to cough still. My throat's a little jacked up. We'll probably have to take mom to the clinic. Everybody's going to need to get some uh, boosters, I think, so we can heal up quick. Or they can. I've already had a... I've got a steroidal... Um, I can't even think. Antibiotic? Yeah, steroidal antibiotic. Anyway, we're going to recover for a little bit and then see what... The, See what's next. Maybe a mall or Ikea. I have to wait and see how mom feels after we find a clinic. I think we're in the wrong place. Look, there's a Ferrari, Porsche. What's going on here? There is a Corvette. Can you believe that? Now that costs a lot of money right there. Maybe this one. <laughs> to have that car sent over here, there's a lot of money right there. That's a beautiful car, eh? Hmm. GTR, Nissan. Look at that. Is that a Porsche?
that's a Ferrari. Oh my. Some sad thing. I guess I can't park the four tuner back here. Yeah, and that would be a disgrace, wouldn't it? Well, they got the. This must be the ghetto side here. <laughs> Well, this place is jam-packed. Strange. This is kind of a weird deal here. Let me help this guy here. It's not like a, it's really set up good, you know? You want to go in there for a while? Yeah. Mm. What time is it? Mm -hmm. What time is it? About to be more. Yeah. <laughs> Ian, you definitely will have a hard time reading what. Buh, buh, yay. Yeah. Okay. It's a big number. Huh. Are we all on the same floor? Yeah, I don't know. I can't find that thing. You can't find it? Yeah, this is that room. This is her room? Mm -hmm. I guess, yeah. We'll see. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, good. Here we go. Wow. Where's your room for the air? I don't know, I feel like I'm going to break something. Huh? That's you? That's me, yeah. Oh. How do you turn the air on? Hmm? Um. Okay, I'll be right back. See, Paige had you in mind. I'm sure she did. Oh my god. Did that kill me? Mm-hmm. Not yet. Not yet. We still have a few more days. How's your view? Same, same. Okay, hop Thank you. Hop Hmm. We'll check out the room in a second. Well, this is kind of an odd looking place here. Kind of like 70s style. No. Yeah. Check out this bathroom here comes with a really long hair in case you need to look outside how y'all doing oh there's that badass car man wow this is america right here man right here this is awesome check that out America, damn it. Thailand. This is the biggest central in Thailand. It doesn't look big. Just kidding. If that's what Diff says, I believe her. I think we're gonna be here for a while. There's a lot of traffic out there. Well, this is big. Well, I feel bad. Mom's sick. Not a really a whole lot I can do about it. We're all traveling together. What do you want to eat? Have eat? I don't care. But uh, she wanted to stay back and see. Why you so. say the same night at the open? I don't care. I don't know. Help me think. Help me think about. I don't know what there is to eat. <laughs> I want water burger. My meat. Okay. <laughs> Swedish meatballs. Swedish meatballs, okay. There is an IKEA here.
think if it's I think if this mall doesn't have it, it's nowhere. What? This mall should have everything. Okay, let's see if I can do this without <laughs> scaring everybody away. Coffee. Looks good, huh? Seems like everybody in the mall is coughing anyway. It's just that time of year. <laughs> Somebody just sent me a message about food options in Thailand. I thought it was kind of strange. Like, I don't know what your food, your taste buds are. <laughs> I don't know what you like to eat, but I mean, you can always cook your own food. We got a lot of almost everything in Bangkok, I think. Just depends on where you want to live, I guess, anywhere in the world. Well, there's food everywhere in Thailand, and uh, a lot of people don't eat spicy. I guess you guys are lucky today I can't talk too much. <laughs> mm. I don't know, not really. There's Starbucks there. There's Starbucks there. I see this is why the, she likes this mall. In this biggest mall of Thailand, doesn't have a shop that sells bicycles. Awesome. Not impressed. There's the Taco Bell here. Craziness, huh? So your only job in the mall is to tell people where <coughs> stuff's at. Information. Mm. They sell bikes here. Mm. Nope, they don't sell bikes here. Okay, I found Joe was looking for resistance bands, so we finally I, I found him some resistance bands that so Gift can carry them back on the no, taxi. <laughs> The ladies are trying to get something free now. <laughs> they want the free yoga mat. Anyway, for my bike, I want to get a handlebar extension for both the bikes and I need to get new pedals for the new bike because I don't like the pedals that come with it so we'll just have to uh, maybe go to maybe we'll go to Karat tomorrow and, uh, and look there there's a big bike bicycle shop not too far but there's too much traffic so can't get there it's your size right there What do you want them to be? I don't know. <laughs> there you go, Joe. <laughs> Get you those. Aye. Yeah. Well, it's not super cheap here for tacos. They're 69 baht each for a crispy taco. So it's not like you can get a 24 pack or a 12 pack. So just 10 of those is like uh, $15, $16. Yeah, 
five million baht for that. It's a pretty good deal if not. Okay, have fun. See you soon. limited to when you can go somewhere like you have a small window of time to get somewhere or you're stuck in like traffic I, that's just doesn't make sense so many people in one spot you know I can't even go to the bicycle shop because there's too many people hmm. oh it's my lucky day they stayed open I've got two extensions and some pedals Thirty-five, awesome. Except the, the panel is a little different, but it's okay. We go. Very happy. So anyway, I got some really cool pedals. The pedals that come with the bike are not good, and I wanted this extension because it's. <clears throat> The way I sit on it, I put too much weight on my shoulders. And after driving for, riding for a couple hours, really puts a lot of stress on my wrist. So we'll see how this works. Might be too much weight distribution to the back, but I'm gonna try it. Anyway, I saw, I saw this on Klaus's bike. I was like, man, I have got to get that. So that'll that'll do it for me right there. And I got two. This is like the busiest parking lot in Thailand, I think. And there's nobody staying in this hotel though. I asked for mild for my mom, so they gave me this hot and fire. Mm. <laughs> she didn't even put any sauce on it and said it was hot. Huh? <laughs> uh, delicate flour. Uh, uh, All right. Hmm? Taco, Taco Bell. May have been better warm. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go. There's supposed to be some kind of garden thing upstairs. We'll go take a look. You got the key? Mm -hmm. yeah, I got the key. It's funny, you know, the, the lady at the, the information booth at the mall said there was nobody that sold bikes in the mall. We found that and then the guy in the bike shop said, oh, I know where there's a place that you can get what you need, but it's kind of far. And then we find the one <laughs> like right next to the hotel <laughs> that has everything. But when I first went in there, I, I asked her if they had the extension. She says, no, we don't have it. Let me. And then I showed her a picture and she's like, uh, I don't know if it's that big. And I said, well, I'll, I'll look at it. So she pulls out one out of a box, a red one. And I said, yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, let's do that. I'll take that one. And then all of a sudden she had five different colors <laughs> of everything that I needed. It was funny. But anyway, it all worked out. We don't know where we're going. But you got an elevator here though. <laughs> Maybe it's still up. Maybe every floor is a different theme or something. Oh, we found the garden. It's actually a garden with a, with a hose. Yeah, 
Okay, you get an idea of kind of where we're at. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know that means. Me too. The weed girl gets to go in there. So he's got this store closed up. I asked him, I said, What do you have it closed? Are you sick? Because no, COVID. I said, oh, There's no more COVID, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. COVID is alive and well. They're supposed to reduce it uh, to you know, something minor, but I don't think that'll change anything in Thailand. I think they like yeah. it. <laughs> and then he said business was slow. <laughs> they can't even come in your store. <laughs> okay. feel better. Where are you headed? Just in the room. Well, Did you take those pills? Yeah, you saw me. I was right there. Eat that cheesecake is good. Thank you. All right. Trying to fat me up. <laughs> good, night. good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. We got a gym. <laughs> yeah, no excuse, right? It's right there. It is right there. Well, guys, I'm going to end the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Just took our medication. Going to go to sleep. <laughs> Tomorrow we're headed to Karat. I think we're going to stay next to the mall. Like, uh, I think we stayed there on the way out, right? Mom got her hair cut. Oh, no, no, that was a long time ago. That was in uh, Oh wow. It all runs together. Anyway, guys, I'm a little drowsy. Obviously, pages too. We'll see you guys tomorrow. It's a sport car down there. Yeah, very loud down there. Yeah. Rich kids. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.